Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenya and today I decided to throw out one more deep cleaning video to close out and say goodbye to the summer and start the holiday season. And so I will be starting this video with a very very deep cleaning of our kids bathroom in this new house that we just moved into. It is the house of our dreams and yet it is absolutely disgusting in some areas. I keep finding these nasty gross spots here and there that I just cannot pass by before I even start thinking about decorating for the new season and the holidays. I just can't quite find peace with decorating a house that is dirty on the inside. So I will be definitely scrubbing this bathroom in and out today, as well as getting our kitchen nice and clean for our new dishwasher to finally arrive. But first, let's just start and open up this tub or the inside of the drain or the pipe or whatever you call it and see what's on the inside. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it throw up. Quite the opposite, I wanted to just show you how I'm going to get it nice and clean. And once I'm done with this area, at least I can start bringing some fall decorations into this new house. I really hope that this video will help you get into that mood to get your house nice, clean and fresh for all of the holidays to come. So that if you happen to be a decorator, you can start that process with a nice clean slate. All of the bathrooms in this house have been running a little bit slow and I was taking one sink at a time to really, really deep clean it. But this one is yet the most disgusting one that I have cleaned. So I came prepared, I got all the tools that I might possibly need and I'm going to start with just pulling the hair out as much as I can. I also have this hair snake and I'm going to use it in a little bit. Once I get all of the hair and all of the nastiness out of this drain, I'm going to clean the inside of it with baking soda and vinegar and then bring whatever other cleaners I have to clean the bathtub and everything around. Just get this bathroom nice and clean all throughout. And for those who might be new to this channel, once again, my name is Jenya. I was born and raised in Russia and I came to the United States way over 10 years ago. About three years ago, I met my now husband who happened to be an American. And so we had two kids together. They are now one and three years old and we also got ourselves a beautiful cat. So far, we had been living in our townhouse and we were happy there. However, we were always dreaming of a house with just a big backyard and a little bit more space and a place that our kids would refer to as the house I grew up in. And so after talking about it, we decided to take an action and we found this house in no time really. And now we are here and we're happy and we're scrubbing and cleaning all the nastiness that this house came with. But it is okay, I didn't expect perfection. We're all very happy and we're looking forward to making this house our home. There are a few upgrades and updates as well as makeovers that we're planning to do. But first, I wanted to just settle down and organize this house in a cheaper way with DIY versions of organizers before I switch to buying more permanent and the pricier ones. Right now, I showed you the inside of the sink in the bathroom. It didn't seem as bad as I thought it was going to be, so I'm just going to spray some scrubbing bubbles and let it sit for a minute while I deep clean the other drain in the bathtub starting with pouring some hot water down the drain. You already saw how disgusting that drain was so it needed some hot water to get it started and now I'm gonna put some baking soda inside of it and then pour vinegar on top. I don't measure much but off the top of my head I used about maybe a cup of baking soda and then maybe two cups of vinegar and I didn't need this much but this drain was especially dirty. I like cleaning my kitchen sinks like this especially if they start smelling for some reason but honestly it doesn't really get to that point anymore especially now that I try to stay on top of it with this kind of cleaning about maybe once a month or so The sink wasn't as bad like I said earlier, so I'm just putting some baking soda into this warm water and pouring it down the drain. I'm getting these suggestions from a plumber whose video I watched on how to clean the bathtub drain.
This is my first bottle of Jaws all-purpose cleaner that I have been trying and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just going to do some lighter cleaning in this bathroom with the Jaws all-purpose cleaner and then on the dirtiest surfaces where I really need to scrub a little, I'm going to use the scrubbing bubbles spray. I also wanted to tell you something a little bit off the topic and that is that I am for some reason really excited about decorating this year and I'm not even a decorator. I never decorated anything Thing much except for just the Christmas tree and I don't know why I'm so excited this time maybe it's the fact that the house is more permanent and maybe the kids are growing up but for some reason I actually can't wait to start decorating for fall for the first time in my life as well as the Halloween and Christmas and even the next summer <laughs> And I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I will figure it out. All right, that's enough of decoration talk since we're not doing decorations in this video quite yet. But feel free to let me know in the comments if you are going to decorate for fall and if you have started already or not yet. And if you happen to be one of those people who decorate for fall every year, do you buy your decorations or new decorations every year or do you just reuse what you have from last year? I'm guessing it's both, but I don't know what the rules are. I am very new to this. And since I'm not trying to spend a whole bunch of money right after buying a new house, I guess I'm going to have to find a way to doing this kind of decorations on a budget. Because so far as I've been looking around and paying attention to the prices of decorations for the first time in my life, I've been pretty surprised at how expensive it can really get and really fast too. And since I don't really have any decorations, not even a single pumpkin, I guess I'm going to have to start from scratch as well as stay on a budget, I guess it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but an exciting one. Anyway, if you have any thoughts on this topic, please let me know what they are in the comment section below this video. And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes It's all been a waste of time I was out driving every mile And now if I rewind It's all been a waste of time Can't be by yourself. Yeah. I got my problems. Lately, I've been fading out, holding out, waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions. I was out waiting for something, and if I come. Do you see those darker lines, especially in the corners and on the sides of the bathtub that I would still like to get rid of? Throughout my YouTube videos, I have been getting quite a few comments strongly suggesting to get the pumice stone for cleaning the bathrooms and the toilet. I finally ordered one and once it arrives, I'm going to go back to this bathroom sometime in the near future as well as my bathroom for the shower and clean both of them and hopefully it works. Also, cleaning all of the insides of the drains in the bathrooms is no joke. I feel like I'm a surgeon with all of the instruments that I had to have for this procedure. But anyway, all of the instruments that I had to use for this surgery, I had to make sure that I wiped them down clean as you saw me do a couple of seconds ago.
When it comes to the toilet, I'm actually going to involve a toothbrush this time to make sure that it's clean on the inside. Because the water is always flashed in the toilet, it leaves those black marks over time and it looks like the actual toilet is dirty, when in fact it is the water that leaves those marks over time. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Also, I must have forgotten last time when I cleaned this bathroom to throw out this toilet brush that came with the house, the white one that I'm throwing out right now. I don't know how I would forget to just throw it out, but I guess I did. So I'm gonna throw it out right now. I never used it in this bathroom, not once. I've been using my new one that I brought into this bathroom that's on the other side of the toilet. Do you see those black marks where I'm brushing right now? I hate those. At least I know that they just come from water being flashed all the time. They always happen and they just don't come off that easily. So I'm going to involve my toothbrush today and even if I don't get all of them, at least I know I tried my best. In my old house, when we were packing, I decided when I was going through my microfiber cloths and packing them, there were a few that were kind of ready to be thrown away and I decided to keep them for just the first cleaning of the new house. Because when you clean after not quite your family, it's a little bit different, at least to me. The way I was thinking was, okay, we're gonna move into this new house and I'm gonna clean it for the first time and whenever I need to, I'm just going to use the old old microfiber cloths that are clean but they are just not brand new and I'm going to clean the new house with them and just throw them out after that first clean and then I would start using my regular new microfiber cloths and that is exactly what I'm doing today I'm throwing all of these microfiber cloths that I used in this bathroom today I'm throwing them away I'm hoping I don't sound crazy it just makes a little bit of sense to me I'm going to place some hooks on this trash can so that the bags don't fall inside all the time. Whenever I do that, sometimes the hooks fall off after a couple of days or maybe even an hour. So then I come again with some super glue and glue them on for life. I'm my way, 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 my
That is the stopper for the bathtub drain. I sprayed it with Jaws All Purpose Cleaner and let it sit for a little bit and now it is sparkling and I'm satisfied with the look of the drain on the inside. Even though I had the drain brush that I bought specifically for this occasion, I didn't have to use it. The baking soda, hot water and vinegar did its job. So I'm gonna put the drain stopper back in and secure it by screwing it in on the side. I'm looking at myself as I'm doing this voiceover and I truly am looking like a plumber in this video with the outfit that I'm wearing and just the general look. But what can I say? For a cleaning job like this, I guess I wasn't going to dress up like I'm going to party. Alright, the bathroom is now clean. I am so happy that I can finally breathe. We're now moving on to the kitchen. It needs a little cleaning since we have our dishwasher finally arriving that we ordered weeks ago. We ordered it from Costco. It's a nice dishwasher and for some reason they just wouldn't deliver it. I don't know why my husband has been talking to them. It seems like we were always on the schedule but then it would just not arrive. But anyway, today it's finally coming for sure. It wasn't a big deal to me because this dishwasher is working just fine still. It's just that it's very old, it leaves some kind of residue on the door and my husband just wanted to really go ahead and upgrade this dishwasher to a nicer one. And so I'm going to go ahead and load this dishwasher as full as I can so that I can get one last good cycle out of it. <laughs> Some of you might be thinking now in a second that it's not safe for me to be using this dishwashing powder as opposed to dishwashing little cubes and the only reason I got that powder was for a DIY project in the garden and since we're getting rid of this dishwasher today I just wanted to give it a try and see if it makes any difference to use that powder or the more expensive little dishwashing cubes. I just wanted to run this experiment purely out of curiosity if it's worth or not spending the money on dishwashing pods. Honestly I didn't notice any difference with my dishes after they came out of being a wash with this dishwashing powder and even though it didn't make much difference I am still going to stick with the dishwashing pods for the new dishwasher because it is just safer and since I'm doing this voiceover after this video was done I know that the new dishwasher was already installed and the guy that installed that dishwasher that's who told me to use the dishwashing pods and never use the powder
For the countertops right now I am using Thieves All Purpose Cleaner. It is plant based, it smells amazing and it is one of my favorites. Somebody commented to me in one of the last videos that I should put oil on my wooden countertops. In our last house we had granite countertops and I've never in my life had a wooden countertop so I wouldn't know without that person that I was supposed to take some kind of special care of this kind of wooden kitchen island. But anyway, I got the oil and before I put it on, I just wanted to sand the countertop and also fix a couple of chipped pieces. And I'm gonna take a video of that too, just not today, and then I'll put the oil on as well. So after doing a little more research on that topic, I was told that the reason that we have so many chipped pieces on this island is because it wasn't really taken care of properly and the oil wasn't put on regularly like it's supposed to. So once again, I'm thanking that person for reminding me or rather educating me on taking proper care of this kind of wooden tabletop or wooden island. I still have a lot of stuff to organize in the kitchen. I mean the cabinets, the drawers, that kind of stuff. I can't believe I still didn't get all of that done, but I have been organizing cabinet by cabinet one at a time. And that is the only way that has been working for me lately. This kitchen is so much bigger than the one I used to have before. With that kitchen, I could pretty much organize it all in one day if I wanted to. And with this bigger one, it's not quite the same, I'm afraid. So I have been organizing drawer by drawer and cabinet by cabinet, and that is the only way that has been working for me lately so i'm thinking i'm just gonna try and fit all of that organization in one of the upcoming videos pretty soon and you're also probably gonna get a little bit confused because i dyed my hair brunette now and i posted a little video on instagram as well but a couple of videos from now are going to have me with different color hair only because like i just explained it took me quite a few days to organize this kitchen and while going through that process of organization i dyed my hair darker but anyway blonde or brunette i'm just glad that I'm getting through with this kitchen organization process already. But as of right now, when I'm done with this cleaning up, my husband is going to hang a little shelf here in the kitchen. You might be wondering why I have so many paper towels that are started and not quite finished and are just all over the place. And it was my kids who played wrapping each other in paper towels. Sometimes you just need to be left alone even though it's gonna cost you a lot of mess in the house. But if you really really need that alone time, it's worth the price.
Okay, the kitchen is now ready for the new dishwasher to be installed. And now a few hours later, as my husband came back from work, I asked him to hang that shelf that I used to have in my bathroom in the old house. In fact, I asked him to teach me how to better use the drill. I'm getting much better at it. There is still room for learning, but I know that I'll get there because I desperately want to be able to just at least hang a shelf in the house without having to wait for my husband to come back from work. But anyway, this video is now coming to an end. I hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you next week as well as always please leave me a comment suggestions or advice in the comment section below you can also visit me on instagram and send me a direct message if you have anything to say to me directly my instagram account is from jenya with love just like this channel and i hope you enjoy your weekend bye bye now